Hi, my name is Krista Donald. I'm an archaeological scientist. And what this means basically is that I use scientific techniques to help us learn about the past. So it's a kind of time travel really using science. So my particular project at the moment, which is my PhD project, is looking at people's lives between about 3, uh, 4,000 and about 3,000 years ago in the Highlands of Scotland. And I'm mainly using radiocarbon dating and also doing some paleoenvironmental analysis, so reconstructing the past environment using um, pollen analysis. So radiocarbon dating is a technique we use to date things that used to be alive. So the remains of humans, the remains of animals, and the remains of plants. Um, it's based on understanding the decay rate um, of a radioactive type of carbon, a radioactive isotope of carbon called carbon-14. So basically by measuring the amount of carbon-14 left in our sample, we can start to understand how old um, the organism that we are dating is. Analysis of different types, different isotopes, so not just isotopes of carbon, um, can be used to reconstruct people's diets in the past. Um, so we can look at maybe whether people were getting a lot of their food from marine sources, um, so from the seas and oceans, or whether they were eating a lot of food that came from the land. We can also start to look at things like maybe where they spent their childhood, um, where they moved to later in life, um, all using isotopic analysis. So another technique that I'm using is pollen analysis to recreate past environments. Um, so pollen in the environment um, can become trapped in um, things like peat, where it's basically preserved uh, for a long period of time. And by sampling um, peat from peat bogs and looking at the different types of pollen that are in there, we can start to look at what plants were living in particular places in the past. Um, and from that, we can start to look at things like maybe was it a wet or a dry climate at particular points in the past, and also um, what people were doing in the landscape. So were they maybe like growing grain or were they maybe grazing animals in a particular place? There are loads of other techniques that are used in archaeology um, to understand past people's lives. Um, there's a lot of work going on using computers and using programs like GIS, using remote sensing and satellite imagery to look at sites from the sky, and loads more techniques from chemistry, biology, geosciences, um, and loads of other disciplines that I'm probably missing out to learn about people's lives in the past. I hope that's been interesting. Thank you very much for listening.